what the uh, seventh year I think of this of this job fair, and I'm just what does it continue to sort of impress you, amaze you, what you've kind of created here? Well, I think it's, I had a vision that succeeded my vision, which is, you know, I just, it all started when my daughter got recruited, and and it's all about hope and opportunity, and I, I see it everywhere. I think the next step is I want, uh, we want to do the best we can to get secure job offers on the table for players, and that's my goal next year. And uh, the upper part, the upper guys on my team deserve that. I, I got some really good ones. Are you, the way the quarterback thing settled out and stuff, are you, you, Obviously, you'd like to have had Joe probably stick around and stuff, but do you, do you feel comfortable, I guess, about the Dwayne Haskins? What, what, what's sort of the pecking order there? Well, Dwayne is a starter, and then uh, Tate's in full competition mode. Matt Baldwin's our three, and he's doing very well. Yeah. Uh, I talk to Joe still now once a week, and uh, Joe, Joe did a lot for us. We did a lot for Joe, so that was very amicable and a good relationship. And, uh, you know, anytime you have new... There's some discomfort involved. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about Fred, Richard Freshman now getting a chance to play four games in a season? It's a good rule. It's a good rule, and I'm glad they did that, and that's uh, that's good for most importantly student athletes. Do you, you think it'll help keep their interest, so to speak, or through a season uh, with that, if that's the right word? No, I think it's just going to be easier for Usually you play a guy early, and if he gets hurt, then you redshirt him. You know, now there's going to be the maneuver until the stretch run when it gets really hard and do you need them, you know, because usually the end of the season you're dealing with injury issues. So we had a probably 30-minute conversation about that today.